His uh, Excellency Sujiro Sim, Head of Delegation of the European Union for the Pacific, Honorable uh, Minister for Sugar and Multi-Ethnic Affairs, Charanjit Singh, Honorable Minister for Health, my friend Dr. Antonio Lalambalabu, I can see Honorable Minister Agni Dev Singh, my colleague, Assistant Minister, Honorable Emmanuel, Mrs. Uh, Marian Ferran, Deputy Director General of the European Commission, Mr. Amboise Fayol, I got it right, yes. <laughs> Vice President of the European Investment Bank, Excellencies, Senior Government Officials, Governor of the Reserve Bank, my Permanent Secretary, Shri Gounder, ladies and gentlemen, Mula Binaka, Namaste, and a very warm welcome. On behalf of the Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of Fiji, I'm deeply honored to officially welcome the European Investment Bank Pacific Regional Office here in Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great moment for both the European Investment Bank and the Government of Fiji, as this marks an important milestone in the EU-Fiji partnership, and indeed, EU-Pacific partnership. Indeed, it is a sign of confidence and trust placed by the European Union and the European Investment Bank in the future of Fiji and the Pacific. And it shows EIB's willingness to not only deepen its engagement with Fiji, but expand its role in the Pacific region. In fact, I believe that this is also a sign and confidence in taking forward the whole Indo-Pacific strategy within not only the geopolitical strategy, but also the Indo-Pacific economic strategy. Being strategically located here in Fiji, which is, as we've had, the hub of the Pacific, EIB now is more accessible to its current and future clients, and this will greatly complement the presence and the valuable contributions of other international organizations like the World Bank, the Asian Development Bank, the International Monetary Fund, International Finance Corporation, the United Nations, and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been in government for a little over two months, but I can tell you that there is a sense of exuberance, confidence, optimism, not only in the country, but we feel that the same from our international partners and friends uh, throughout the world. The feedback from our ordinary people, private sector, civil society, and development partners have been great. And we are very, very happy about it because we believe that finally we have a government that is here to listen to them and to work together. The coalition government believes in genuine partnerships and we believe in productive dialogue and most importantly, we firmly believe in restoring true democracy with a government, as we've said before, that is not here to rule but to serve. We believe in the rule of law, human rights, media freedom, social justice, and empowerment of our people. My friends, we are now focused on building or rebuilding our economy. And it may not be appropriate for me to say that we are in the process of clearing some of the fiscal mess. With the strong growth in tourism, economic recovery looks promising. However, fully rebuilding the economy to pre-pandemic levels will take time, 
as the economic damage from the pandemic was huge and the recent downsize risk emanating from the slowdown in global growth, including our major trading partners, is going to affect us. Apart from the COVID pandemic, in fact, COVID pandemic has also exposed many structural vulnerabilities within the Fijian economy that needs to be fixed, including the need to improve productivity, diversify the economy, and transform the economy from a mainly public sector-led growth to making private sector the engine of growth. In this regard, and in the spirit and the philosophy underlying the new government of collaboration, consultation and dialogue, we will be holding the National Economic Summit after 16 years, or maybe after 15 years, with the theme reshaping our future through genuine dialogue and collaboration. Through this process, we aim to create a collective national vision with a set of policies to achieve inclusive economic development, social justice, and good governance. As the theme suggests, the summit is a collaborative one where representatives from various sectors of the economy will be invited, and I'm sure many of you will participate. And uh, I should add institutions like the European Investment Bank will be invited. Ladies and gentlemen, the European Union has been, and we all know this, an important partner in our development process, and more recently with the engagements with the European Investment Bank. And now the presence of the office here in Fiji uh, adds another dimension. And we obviously are looking to a more fruitful and deeper engagements. I want to use this opportunity to acknowledge on behalf of the government the support of the European Investment Bank in the water sector, including the co-financing of the Biria Evan water supply project. Moving forward, there is a major need to upgrade and replace our old aged water infrastructure. And we look forward to more collaboration with EIB and other partners in the area. We also acknowledge the EIB's support with a feasibility study for a potential hydropower project. And we look forward to supporting EFL in this transition to cleaner energy and potentially prospects for EIB to finance any such projects in the future. Although the, uh, I, I should add that the financing landscape is now very competitive uh, with large number of lenders wanting to lend as well. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the European Union and in particular His Excellency for um, all the support in the areas of uh, climate change adaptation, uh, disaster risk reduction, sustainable livelihoods, public administration reform and governance, gender and human rights. And we look forward to taking this partnership to even greater heights. Once again, I want to thank all of you and wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you.